f of x is equal to the natural log of e to the negative 4x plus 5x plus 4 and we're told to find f prime of 0. Now we have a composite function here so if we want to find f prime of x we need to differentiate and use the chain rule so let's do that f prime of x will equal 1 over all of this so that's 1 over e to the negative 4x plus 5x plus 4 times the derivative of the inner function by the chain rule and so we'll differentiate this inner function term by term and when we do that we get the derivative of e to the negative 4x which is e to the negative 4x times negative 4 by the chain rule again plus the derivative of 5x which is simply 5. Okay so let's just clean that up just a little bit. This um, negative 4 is multiplied by the e to the negative 4x and all of that is in the numerator so that's uh, negative 4 e to the negative 4x plus 5 over this denominator e to the negative 4x plus 5x plus 4. Okay, now we need to find f prime of 0 so we just need to put in 0 for x so this is going to be negative 4 times e to the 0 which is 1 plus 5 over e to the 0 which is 1 plus 5 times 0 which is 0 plus this 4. So easy enough negative 4 plus 5 is 1 and 1 plus 4 is 5 so the answer is 1 fifth. So to solve this you need to know that the derivative of a natural log of something is 1 over that something and then in this case that something was itself a function so we had to apply the chain rule and in this step in this case there's an extra step in the chain because this inner function right here also has within it another inner function so we had to apply the chain rule twice so derivatives of natural logs and the chain rule